Blender Cycles can be slow at times due to its default settings. However, in this video, I will share some ways to make it faster. This is a beginner tutorial in which I will tell you everything step by step. Let's start by going into the Render Settings tab. If you have a GPU, it would be better if you select GPU Compute here. It will use your GPU, which is faster than your CPU, decreasing your render times. Now, in the Sampling tab, minimize the viewport as we are only focusing on the render, but you can copy the same settings for it too. The first setting in the Sampling tab is the Noise Threshold. What it does is that it stops the render at a certain point where the noise is reduced. By default, it is too low. Make it 0.5. It will stop the render when the noise has decreased to this level. Under the noise threshold are max and minimum samples. Set the max sample to whatever you like, but the minimum sample won't let the noise threshold stop the render. For example, if the minimum sample is 50, but the noise threshold is completed at 30 samples, it will render until it reaches 50 samples. I keep it at zero because the noise threshold does the work. The time limit is the same as the noise threshold and it is very good for animations, but because every scene is different, I am not going to discuss it that much. However, these are some of my renders with a time limit. Before continuing, it would be great if you subscribe to the channel. Up next is Light Path. The defaults are good, so we are just going to skip it. A quick tip if you want a crisp and clear render, under the Film tab in the Pixel filter, set it to 1. Trust me, it will make your renders better. Now, in the Performance tab, let's discuss the threads first. You can just select Auto Detect, click Use Tiling and set this to 512 or leave it at the default. Now, in the end, there is Spatial Split and Persistent Data, which are best for animation. What this does is that it stores all the data and does not calculate it. In this animation, the first frame took 4 minutes to render, but after that, it was only taking a minute for the rest of the frames. If you found the video helpful, consider subscribing.